Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days and five minutes. And we of course enjoyed a nice bounce in temperatures today as we uh, climbed up uh, into the 50s uh, in uh, many locations, uh, some low and middle 50s, uh, in fact, uh, from uh, southern New England uh, down into northeast Virginia, even uh, back through parts of uh, western Pennsylvania, we saw that happen. But we've got that Arctic boundary not that far away in western New York and now uh, moving across uh, central Indiana, southern Illinois. And as we uh, widen this out just a little bit, that's a serious looking high that is coming down from uh, from Canada that has now pushed a lot of cold air uh, into the Great Lakes and into the Northern Plains as temperatures are falling there now uh, in the uh, teens. And then you head up into Canada and you start looking at uh, single digits and even a few numbers around zero. For this time of year, this is a pretty uh, impressive uh, cold air mass. And when that Arctic boundary arrives here on Tuesday, we are going to see a, a little bit of uh, snow out of this. And uh, as we uh, as we take a look at National Weather Service's latest snowfall forecast, they've actually nudged the uh, southern extent of this a little bit further to the south in northwest New Jersey and even into the northern counties as you go to the northeast and in the Hudson Valley, southwest Connecticut. They've got ones up there, which would be a coating to an inch. But I, I think we could wind up seeing a changeover to snow uh, pretty far down south through New Jersey and maybe even into Delaware and uh, on into uh, parts of Maryland. Uh, this uh, Arctic front is going to have uh, a bit more uh, to it on the southern end. Uh, just looking at some of the models today, they seem to be uh, going in that direction uh, that uh, the southern part of this uh, front might have a little bit of juice to it as it swings eastward. Not enough to cause any big problems. I think at the end of the day, this is still just an early thrill for snow lovers just to see flakes flying. The bigger story, I think, is going to be the cold, which for this time of year is pretty impressive. That'll be coming in for later Tuesday and then for Tuesday night, Wednesday, and lasting into Thursday. So really, it is all about uh, the Arctic boundary uh, that is moving uh, southeastward and a wave of low pressure that is moving along it. And you can see on the satellite loop that that is now uh, beginning to set itself up. Initially, the clouds are moving through uh, upstate New York and into New England. So you, you know the rule where if it starts snowing up in Vermont and New Hampshire first before it starts snowing here, we're not likely to get very much. So it's really going to be about whatever we can manage to, to pull off here uh, on the back end. And with respect to the boundary, you see where the winter weather advisories are tonight and the winter storm warnings that are now up in southwestern New York and then on up to north central New York, northeastern New York and into Vermont. And we've got winter storm watches uh, in uh, parts of uh, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine. I think we might see this area get expanded a little bit as we move into Monday and Monday night. It's not going to be expanded down to coastal areas, uh, but uh, it might get expanded a bit more as you head up to the north. So this is my uh, uh, the, the latest uh, NAM from late this afternoon, NAM model from later this late this afternoon, and it, it argues the idea. You see, let me just back it up here. So uh, I'm going to back it up to one in the morning on Monday, and you see that snow area kind of expands a bit uh, as the low jumps from uh, southern Ohio into central Pennsylvania rather quickly. It's just basically a flat wave. And while that's going on for us tomorrow, we are in a really good spot here. We're not going to be seeing any precipitation. We're going to have uh, some breaks of sun and probably see temperatures taken uh, into the mid and upper 50s. Might be a little bit lower further to the west and north as you get into northeastern Pennsylvania and particularly northeastern Pennsylvania on up the Hudson Valley, there may be more clouds around and that will hold temperatures down. And then that um, system just kind of pivots to the coast. This is Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. The Arctic front is coming through and it, it's kind of, it's a, it's a long stretch. It's a very, very flat system here. So you're getting some precip here on the backside on these uh, northerly to north northeasterly winds and that is what is going to be playing through here Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. It's very quick. Uh, we're talking about maybe about four hours, five hours worth of uh, precip here. I'll do it on the close-up view. 
and this is at this is how it looks at 8 a.m so you see where the rain snow line is by, by i'm sorry by 7 a.m by 10 a.m it's right on the city and you've got that band of snow actually according to the nam even down to the washington dc baltimore area it's going to be tough to accumulate initially because temperatures are going to be falling so it might take a little while we may not get below freezing until later on during the afternoon and I guess the other question is in terms of intensity here if you really wanted to see accumulations on roadways uh, you'd have to get it to snow fairly hard like it did in that situation for last that we had last November I, I, I don't see it snowing that hard uh, to cause any problem so we'll get what we get and then here comes the uh, the cold air and it's going to get be rather windy here as we move into Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning will be down in the teens and low 20s in many locations and that cold air is going to hang around on Thursday because the high goes by to our north and we're going to get a little bit of an onshore flow off the ocean so I think that may bring in clouds and might even be a, a few scattered snow showers later Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening maybe a little bit of cold drizzle along the coast uh, we'll just have to wait and see the reason why I think the southern end of this is um going to be a little bit more active than it otherwise would be is because the upper trough really doesn't come through here until uh, tomorrow night sometime the upper air winds all day long tomorrow are from the south southwest so I think this could be supportive of that snow shield uh, moving uh, further to the south I think that's what the the, the uh, weather models are uh, are seeing as far as the situation goes for Tuesday so it's back to work Monday. Thanks for being here. Went a little bit longer. National Weather Service snowfall forecast maps are on the uh, meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app and on the Angry Ben weather app. And also my snow forecast is on the app. It's also on my weather platform on Patreon. So you can go to patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Uh, that's a subscription platform it starts at two dollars a month and there are higher tiers for those of you who uh, need some help in uh, with with regards to weather in order to make whatever decisions you have to make uh, so you can check that out but the apps are free on google play and on the app store meteorologist joe chaffee uh, on the on the google play or the app store and angry ben's app the angry weather man so download those today and this way you'll get the latest snowfall forecast maps and we will see you in the morning and we'll have an update on 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 everything uh, on uh, Monday's weather in five.